What's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> All right, so you want to get a job in the oil field and you got no experience, what do you do? Well, I'm only going to tell you what I did. This might not work for you. I don't know. Um, but what I did was I went to oilfieldjobshop.com. I made a list of 50 companies, the most recent companies that were hiring. I sent them all cover letters and resumes. Uh, I only sent 31, I think, 31. And I got replies immediately. Within 24 hours, I started getting replies. Now, my cover letter was a little unique as far as cover letters go. I was very, very open about pointing out how fit I was, how ready to work I was, how strong I was, and uh, how eager I was. I, I'm pretty sure that that showed right through in my cover letter. So I don't know if uh, a regular cover letter would work as well as mine did, but it sure as hell worked for me. Now, I was originally going to go to Grand Prairie um, for my job. Uh, I I was given an opportunity to work for one of the best companies in, in Canada, really. Um, but I got a much better offer from an even bigger company uh, a couple weeks later. So I've settled on Provost, Alberta. I'll be going out at the end of the month. I'll be doing a whole video log all about how, you know, how it's going and everything else. Um, I haven't decided if I'm uh, going to fly up there, take a train up there, take a bus up there, or say, screw it and take the truck. The truck's probably, <laughs> shit, it probably cost me 1500 bucks in gas just to get there. But, I mean, it's 3,640 something kilometers from Kingston, Ontario. So, I'm not really sure I want to do that in this truck, this this goddamn truck is a beautiful truck, but holy shit, it sucks on gas. Literally. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I did. It might not work for you, but that's what I did. I went to oilfieldjobshop.com, made a list of 50 companies. I um, went on to indeed.com. Uh, I looked up the rating for all of them. I made sure that everyone that I was applying to had at least 100 employees. And I made sure that every single one of them were at least a two-star rating. Now, I, I don't. I think if it's your first job and you got no experience, it doesn't really matter. Um, if it gets your foot in the door, who gives a shit, right? But I don't want my first foot in the door to be total garbage. I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to start out with a good company, but I didn't want to start out with a bad taste in my mouth with the industry. So. Um, with that being said, I accepted another offer, which was in Provost as opposed to Grand Prairie, Alberta, which is actually really expensive to live, and Provost, Alberta is like nothing. I mean, shit, I can, I can buy this this house that I'm looking at right now for 40000 and it needs maybe fifteen grand worth of work. A house. A three-bedroom house. What the hell? I mean, try that here. That's like... 300,000, even a shit house is like 200,000, no matter where it is, even in horrible condition, definitely over 200K. So I was kind of happy to find out that rent there is like next to nothing. I mean, I was blown away how cheap it was to live out there. So that's a huge plus for me. And not only that, it's before taxes, it'll probably work out to anywhere from 35 to 5K. Uh, a week, you know, and I can do 11 on, 3 off, 22 on, 6 off, 33 on, 9 off. Now, they don't normally allow that, but because I, I own property here, I have a house here, I have a business here, I have an employee, I've got a lot of stuff that I'm leaving behind to get out there and start work. So they kind of understand that I'm probably going to want to do, you know, 22 on, 6 off. Personally, I'd rather do 33 on, 9 off. Um, just because of the freaking money, man. Um, yeah, it's it's unbelievable. As a green hand, I'm going to be paid as... A, I'm, I'm going to be a floor hand. Um, starts out at uh, 32 an hour. Uh, overtime at 40 and you're, you're I mean wow you know plus you get your daily per diem you get uh, a performance bonus 
a safety bonus, work clothing bonus, work boots bonus. Um, yeah, it's, uh, other than when I had my hot dog carts, this would be the most money I've ever made in my life. I mean, the roofing, roofing was unbelievable. It was bringing me in close to 40 an hour with benefits and everything else on overtime. Actually, more than that. It was about 60 an hour with overtime and everything else and pension, and all that shit, but, you know, it was short-lived, and uh, I hated the job, and I didn't like my co-workers, you know, like, uh, who wants to work with a bunch of drunk addicts, I don't, I didn't, you know, I, I understand, I understand, apparently, that, that that's really common in, in, in the oil field, but <clears throat> I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't party, I don't do anything, I, I've got one son who's 25, and he can pay his own bills, I don't have a girlfriend, don't have a wife. I've got no dependents at all, except this little beautiful puppy. Except this little beautiful pup. So everything I make is going to go to me, the most important person in the world, which is me or you. So with that being said, go to oilfieldjobshop.com. Make a list of the 50 companies that are hiring most recently. Find their emails for the HR department. Send every single one of them a resume and cover letter. Then follow up a week later if they didn't reply. Because they should start replying. If you have a good resume, they should start replying right away. You're going to need H2S. You're going to need fall arrest. You're going to need standard first aid level C plus AED. And you're going to need WEMIS. You get those four things, and you're golden. You can go on any site you want. Uh, the H2S you can do online. Uh, in Ontario, I think mine was $39.99. In fact, I think I got it right here. Okay. Oh, where are you? There you are. Okay. Yeah, I paid $39.95, and I just talked to uh, a guy on Facebook, and he said out in Quebec, it's $175. Bucks. Holy shit. I had no idea. Anyway... Hopefully this is valid. I told them I took it, so, uh, so yeah, right here. There's that one. There's that one. There's that one. And I got a whole, got a whole thing here full of other safety cards that they're gonna want. Um, I got lockout, tag out. Uh, Suspended platforms, um, you know, just the basic stuff you would get from commercial roofing, right? Um, and then, you know, and then the uh, oil-related stuff. So, oilfieldjobshop.com, make a list of 50 companies. I, I would honestly suggest that you check each and every single one of them, because if you look at some of these companies on Indeed.com, you do not want to work for some of these guys. They've got a miserable reputation, and if you look at some of the reviews by former employees, you're going to see why. Now, the company, when I was looking at the reviews, I seen maybe two negative reviews, and, uh, you know, pretty much half of the ones that were there were like, I wish I could get back in. I really screwed things up. I would love to work there again, and, and you know, when you hear stuff like that, you know it's a good company. The other company that I was given an opportunity with in Grand Prairie, holy shit, I was scared, terrified, because the reviews on Indeed were miserable, horrible. I mean, it sounded worse than the roofing company I was working for. So, um, two more tips. Go on to uh, Facebook, join uh, Good Times in the Oil Patch. And uh, Alberta Oil Field Jobs. Uh, another one is um, Camp Jobs. What I noticed was as soon as I posted that I was ready and willing to work my ass off and ready to leave my home, my property, my business, everything behind and come out there and work my ass off right now, I noticed that people started overwhelmingly responding to me. I mean, I was flooded with personal messages. Hey, call Gary over at Precision. Hey, call Steve over at Phoenix Energy. Hey, call David at, uh, you know, if, if you make it really clear that you're going to fucking bust your ass, pardon my French, you're going to bust your ass to do a hell of a job and they should hire you over some asshole with experience, they're going to bend over backwards to help you out, man. 
They really are. So anybody who says that, never mind that Facebook crap, don't send in resumes. If someone tells you that, maybe it didn't work for them. Maybe there was something wrong with the resume. Maybe the cover letter sucked. I don't know. I know my cover letter was really unusual. Um, I, I was told that's probably the most unique cover letter I've, I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> you know, nothing special, nothing... I didn't think it was anything amazing. I was just being me when I wrote the cover letter. I wasn't trying to be something else. And one last thing. If you smoke pot, stop now. You're going to have to wait 30 to 60 or 30 to 40 days. Now, unfortunately, the whole industry is set to focus on people who smoke pot. It's the most, uh, or what is it? It takes the longest to come out of your system. It's got the easiest to detect uh, in a way. If you smoke pot and you want to go work in the oil field, stop. Anyway, I hope these little tips help. I'm going to make start making vlogs about it, my journey into the oil patch. Hopefully some of what I just told you helps. Like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends. Hopefully this, uh, this helps out. Anybody who's looking to get onto the patch and you got no experience, you don't know where to go, Follow what I just said, and I promise you, you're going to get results. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day, man, and be positive.